Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Automation with Arnab. Hello, I am Arnab. Hope you guys are doing very well. Okay, so today I will discuss about how to do scrolling using APM version 2. Okay, as we all know that APM version 2 has been released already and we all we have to start migrating our existing project from APM version 1 to APM version 2. And in APM version 2, we all, as we all know that one, they are already implemented the W3C actions protocol so that they have made some changes. Okay. And with APM version 2, if we are using Java client version 8, because Java, this is the new Java client version, we have to use the newest version. So for that one, we have to use the W3C actions instead of the touch actions. The touch actions we are used to use for this long period. We have been used for a long period to write the coding or to write the method or code to, for scrolling, zoom, uh, pinch, all of these things. Okay, but now these touch action methods have been deprecated and I have already made a video on that one. So not one video, there are uh, multiple videos I have made already that how to write scrolling methods using W3C actions. So these are the methods, okay. And like that, you have to use the pointer input, you have to use the sequence, then you have to just like you have to replicate that how we are doing manually that we have to uh, first we have to touch down our finger, we have to place on that particular point, then move our finger and we have to pull up our finger from the screen. So these are really, if you can see, see in my screen that these are very long process. So that's why it's a very good thing and it's a very new thing. So APM2, they have been released a uh, plugins that is called gesture plug plugins they have released so they made all these things very easy in a single line of code we can do the scrolling not only scrolling double tap scrolling all of these things so in this video i'll show you guys that how to implement that one and how to start using that one so it is very they have made this one very easy just you have to install the apm version uh, apm gesture plugins so those who haven't started using the APM version 2 as of now, they are still using the APM desktop that is desktop server that is for APM version 1 that is I think last one is APM 1.22 or 23 something like that. Okay, so those who haven't started yet, so for those people, so what I am doing that one, so I'll show that one to, to the, those guys that how to start your journey with APM 2. So APM 2 has been already in, installed in my system. So what you have to do that one first, you have to install node in your system because there will be as APM as per APM document so there in for in future the, from APM two onwards there will be no desktop separate application. You have to install APM via npm. Okay, install Node.js so it will automatically install the npm that is Node.js Node Package Management and using this command you can install the APM version 2. Once you will run this command from your command prompt after installing the node, it will install the APM and also it will set up the APM CLI. So when you will install the APM, it will also configure the APM CLI in your system. This is a very interesting thing because APM has been come out with some commands that we have to use to run the server. Okay to install the drivers, to install the plugins, all of these things. And another interesting thing is that one, if you are installing the APM, so it will not install any other driver. Okay, once you will install the APM, to start the server, I'll show you the commands. I have already shown all of these things. If you if you want, you can see the videos. I'll give the video link in that video description or you can find in the cards. Okay, it is coming from your, in your video, in the top right corner. Okay, so now after installing the APM with this command that I have highlighted here, I'll make sure that this uh, command will be there in the video description, you will find that one. Okay, and after that, if you run this command, APM driver list. So I have, oh, sorry, it is already there in my screen. So you can see that one, it will, or again, it will show you that what are the drivers is available for APM as of now and what are the installed driver so i have installed apm uh, ui automator 2 and windows in my system these two are installed already and how to install the driver this is the command it's very simple they have made all these things that apm space driver space install that driver name just you have to make sure that you are giving the correct 
driver name okay and then you are using this apm driver list you can see the whatever the driver is installed and what are the driver is available also okay next is that same thing you can check for the plugins if you are running this method this command apm plugin list so it will show you the whatever the available plugins are there and what is in among them what is installed you can see that one the gesture plugins is only installed in my system there are other plugins also image execute driver relax cap universal xml all of these things okay so all don't worry about this one all the commands i am showing you guys here i will make sure that these are present this will be there in the video description you will find in that video description and now we will start the coding part so i am expecting that you guys know that how to write code in the apm and all these things you are just struggling with the scrolling method okay and you are migrating your project from apm version 1 to 2 and also parallelly java client version you are updating so that you are not able to use the touch action class you have to use the w3c actions and which is little bit complicated you can obviously do that one but it, it is little bit complicated that's why they are coming up with this solution and i found this one this one is very 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 easy and very useful for all of us okay let's go to the code so I have already written the code because I will not spend because there is a, a sample application I have taken for this one. Okay, so what I am doing that. So if you see in the line number 64, oh, sorry, in the line number 60 first, this is the method. This is the way you can just driver.execute script. Next is that you have to write the gesture there in the execute script. Okay, you have to pass that one. So you have to make sure that you have installed the correct plugins. Okay. Then inside the execute script, you have to mention that gesture colon swipe, what you have to do. Then inside the immutable map, you have to pass the element details. Okay. That particular element detail that I have created for whatever the elements inside that element you want to scroll. And next is that what is the percentage and the direction. These are the things we have to pass. Okay. The percentage and what is the value and then direction and what is the direction. If you want to do the left swipe, you have to provide the left. You have to provide, if you want to do the right swipe, you have to give the right. You have to want to swipe the up. You can, you have to give the swipe direction up, down, all of this. So you guys can see that if you compare these two, these two are very, very easy instead of this one. You can see in one line, you can just replace with this line of code can be replaced with a single line okay i think this is very easy just i am showing i am telling again that just you have to give the okay so for your information i can show you uh just a minute let me bring the application okay so this is the application so suppose in the swipe you can see in my screen that i am doing the swipe okay this is up down okay these are the swipe i am doing if we have to do this one with w3c actions we have to write this much of code okay this much of code for horizontal scroll this much of the same thing it will be happening you have to write all of this first you have to identify the elements then you have to find out the coordinates then you have to identify the point and input sequence, move finger, then all the actions you have to add. Then finally you have to perform the actions. Okay. Instead of that one, just you have to write this code. You have to execute the script. <clears throat> this is a method. And inside that one, there are some parameters we have to pass. First is that what we have to do that, what is the gesture swipe or whatever the other gesture we have to do or not all the gesture has been implemented yet, but whatever the gesture they have implemented it like drag and drop double tap long press all of these things they have implemented here i'll just in this video i'm just talking about the scrolling means the swipe in the next video i'll show you that how you can do the drag and drop double tap long press all of these things okay this is a very good thing what i found this one okay and it's a very easy as you can see only one line so in the first parameter you have to pass what the gesture you want to do second is that you have to pass the your element details that is element id i am passing here okay 
first you have to find out the element i mean here i'm using the remote web element you can use the web element also and get id i'm using this one next is that what is the percentage okay it's a 50 percent means that you have to control the swipe uh, you can say the speed okay that's why this is the percentage 50 percent next is the direction so it's very easy four element where four parameters we have to pass that's it okay let's run this code and let's see what will happen okay. so this is my uh, mobile screen and if you are wondering that what how i am uh, sharing i am showing my screen that i am casting my screen it's a very easy there is an application screen copy you can use that one scr cpy i'll give the video i'll give the link in the video description so that you guys can download and you can use this one and but make sure that it will be only used you can use this one for android it will not work for the ios oops oh sorry <laughs> server is not running so so yeah so I, one thing i forgot that one i'll show you that how to run the server okay so you can run the server like this and to use any plugins okay you don't have first you have to install that one then when you will run the apm server you have to provide the you have to make make sure that you will pass this uh, parameter like this you can say in the command when you are just first running the server that use which plugins you are going to use okay well when you are starting your server okay and after that these are optional the address okay i'm giving uh, that address i'm giving the 127.0.0.1 and i'm mentioning the port you, these two are optional if you if you don't give this it will running on the 0.0.0, .0 and it will take the port whatever based on whatever the port is available it will i think by default it will take the 4723 but i am i want to run my apm server with this port that's why the address and port i am giving purposefully okay also i will mention this command in the video description so that you guys can find this one and if you have any question on this one you can just drop me an email or you can do a comment on this one so that i can answer that one. okay just enter so it will run your apm server and sometimes after you install the apm these plugins and you are starting uh, running your start starting your server you can see some error in your console but don't worry about that one uh, they are they will fix it's just now that i'm just talking though sometimes it is showing sometimes it's not showing so this is a no search driver this is a error it's coming i think hope very soon they will fix this one and but it will not hamper anything for your automation so you can see when you run your server so it is showing that this is the address and what are the plugins we are using okay and available drivers these two driver these plugins what everything and also they are showing that it is active it can be there that multiple uh, plugins you have installed but what is the active one you what is the active means what is the plugins we are using currently that's the thing okay and also they are showing that what is this uh, port and address what is the server address with the port the apm server is running all of these things you can find after you running the server okay let's run this code again it's running in the background you can see in the console Intel J console and also don't worry about this one i'll give this code and i'll upload this code into my get repository and i'll make sure that link it's available in the video description and also you can pause your video and you can write this one okay so it launched the application it will go to the swipe and then you can see it is swiping on the left then right then up after that it will down okay so only one line just isn't very beautiful and very easy for everyone this one i love this one how they made this one okay so this is the thing i'm just purposefully making this one here so that you guys can see and you guys can 
the, pausing the video and you guys can write the code and this is how to define the capabilities okay here i have giving the thing okay okay so this is the way how you can use the apm gesture plugins to your write your code to write scrolling methods in your code okay and if you guys have any question any doubt on this one just to uh, comment on this video or you can email to me okay i'll give the email address in my video description and see you guys in the next video and 